83, I just wanted to show you two of the pieces in my collection that I think are rather cool and you don't see them every day. A lot of my collection are actual physical dolls, but some of the items I have are kind of offshoots, so it's the fun wallets or puzzles, like the other items that uh, aren't playline dolls, but still have those characters on them. So first, we have this neat little piece here. This is a Barbie skipper and fluffy telephone. There's the telephone portion of it. You'll see it's not even really connected to the base at the moment, so if you needed to use this as like just a stand for something, you could use that as a stand or a desk table as well. This telephone features a superstar Barbie, a skipper, and then this little white cat named Fluffy. It came out in 1983. It has some nice little flower embellishments here. Then it says Barbie on the front, and then there's another little flower that is attached. I'm assuming it was just pushed in. The back is nothing to write home about. It's just a yellow back. This was made in Hong Kong under the Mattel license. This Cabbage Patch Kids telephone I just received for my birthday. It features a Cabbage Patch. Here's her telephone. This was made in 1984. And Cabbage Patch Kids were still relatively new back in 1984. They were still literally the the, the big toy. Um, which I think it's hard to believe because Cabbage Patches have been out for so long and they're not as like present on toy shelves anymore, but believe it or not, in the early 80s, they were the toy to get. This phone is adorable. It's made of a, a plasticky sort of material. It's cabbage patch on the front, place for you to put your home phone number, I guess. And then it has all the push buttons to actually dial your friends. There's an LED light here, and as I said, this is the telephone attachment, so you can talk to all your friends. If we turn this around, you'll see the back of the Cabbage Patch. This one is a little blondie with pigtails. I like that style. And they tried really hard to get the yarn hair look on her, which I like as well. Both of these telephones are really cool, and I think they really add to my collection. I just think they're so neat, and it's different, and they're nice standout sort of pieces. Do you have a fun addition to your doll collection that it maybe isn't a fashion doll but is of that same world. If you do, share it down in the comment area. Do you have a telephone that is just really neat that you want to share down below? You can do that too. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. Check out my Facebook page, also Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. And I'll be back soon with more doll and toy reviews. Bye!